Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 20, and this is war number 5. And as you can see, we're going up against an alliance called Karachi Club. Alright, so I've already scouted out my path, and I decided to go in with my standard team. I believe they should be able to handle everything, plus maybe a mini or two. Alright, so I take path 2, and... First fight up is going to be Hyperion. Now, the thing with Hyperion that I don't like and what most people have to be concerned with is his power gain. And if he decides to be a little passive, he's going right to his special three. Now, in the past, I popped an invulnerability boost so that I could tank at least one special three and I should be able to get him down or possibly at worst case, three of them if I don't get hit. But with Nick Fury, you don't really need to do that. All right, so you see he has that indestructible charge because they have the defense tactic stubborn, which I hate. And it, it punishes me for playing the way that I normally play with, you know, a lot of evades. Uh, so a lot of people will remove their dexterity mastery in order to handle uh, the stubborn, but I don't want to do that. Okay, so... I went ahead and I fired off my special three and I'm like, okay, is he not going to fire his special three? No, he's going to fire his special three. Soon as he got in real danger, he fired it off. Now, the nice thing about Nick Fury is that he has basically two lives. All right. So I survived and Hyperion did not. All right. Uh, I didn't need an indestructible uh, boost or invulnerability boost. Um, with Nick Fury, he's good for at least one time to do that. Now, the real Nick Fury is out, and I can't do that anymore. Uh, if I do come up against, uh, say, another Hyperion, and they're on, say, a power gain node or something that's going to give them a lot of power, I would have to pop an invulnerability boost if I plan to use Nick Fury. But that's why I chose to use him at first. So that I wouldn't have to pop an invulnerability boost. I knew I was going to be able to get him down. And now he's going to take a little bit of a break. And we're going in here with Warlock. And I hate fighting Mysterio. He loves firing those heavies off. Okay, but you see there, I'm just firing off uh, some heavies, putting some bleeds on him. He's not um, infected. But the reason that I was parrying is because the infections will grow faster. Um, you know, you have, uh, I think when you get 20, I forget what those charges are called, on the uh, opponent, that's when they get the full-blown infection. And if you're just hitting them, it goes up by one, but if you parry, it goes up, I believe, by two. All right, so you see here, I parried him, and I want to keep him infected as much as possible. Now, we're not dealing with flow, or else the heavy attacks would be great to control the power, but it's all good. That's the style that I adopted for this fight. Might not be the best style, but it worked. And we were able to get Mysterio down. Uh, honestly, path one, two, and three are going to be the easier paths to deal with, especially in section one. Okay, so we're up to the mini, but uh, the mini is not cleared yet. And uh, I went away, came back, and the mini was cleared. Uh, sometimes I clear the mini if I'm the last one in and I have a good option for that fight, I'll take it. Uh, but I'm, I'm basically a soldier. Uh, you've seen some of my videos before, I'm sure. If you haven't, go check them out. But I don't tend to just fight. You know, even if I have what I consider to be a good counter, there are other folks that might have better counters, they are better fighters, and are better choices to fight a particular fight. So I wait until I'm told, fight this guy, you have a good counter for this one, no one else has a better counter, do it. And then I'm happy to. Alright, so now we're going to be fighting uh, Squirrel Girl, who I love. She is so much fun. And I'm going to go in here with Omega Red. Now, this is not a difficult fight. You know, we've got the uh, strike counter. Basically, I often ignore the uh, node. 
And what that means is that I need someone that does not need to fire off special attacks to do lots of damage. Okay, so like I did two um, heavies here. So you can see up there at the top, that third strike counter is at zero. So we are being suppressed in our power, okay? And the more I do any one of those actions that you see up there, uh, that will remove some of the counters, and when they go down to zero, you get the uh, power control on you. Uh, you can see the suppress up there right now. See the suppression? And I don't need to worry about it in this fight, but in other fights, it will completely shut me down. But that's why I chose Omega Red for this fight, because with that uh, death field especially, he's going to be able to put on a lot of uh, spores, the style that I, I went with, I didn't do a lot of full hit combos so that I did not use a lot of those counters up. So that worked out for that fight. And, you know, I was trying different styles out and that seemed to work pretty well. All right. So again, we had gotten to the mini uh, and he wasn't cleared. But then we come back and you see that man thing. Now, I've got an Omega Red, who is a great counter for Man-Thing, but I've not fought Man-Thing on this particular node. Okay, see that Vigorous Assault? That is going to mess me up. And that Recovery? All right, so this was a learning fight for me. So I went in here and I read the nodes, okay? But I didn't fully understand how that was going to change the dynamics of this fight. And what you're gonna see is me getting surprised and learning from it. You know, normally I'm gonna go straight forward and fight this man thing. I'm, I'm poison immune, so I don't have to worry about those postules and, and all of that, right? So I'm going in and I'm just trying to, you know, get some spores on him. Probably should fight a little bit differently, but here we go. I did the heavy. So now he's got those spores Okay, and I'm like, all right, cool. Cool. You know, everything looks like it's gonna go well here All right, look at this. We're doing well, you know um, Doing the nice parry getting the heavies off getting those spores locked in on them Okay, we ran out, but we can fire off our special two to get that death field back up and I'm like, okay, we're doing great because he's almost halfway down, okay? We triggered the, uh, you know, indestructible, but we were able to parry him. And, you know, you see how I'm delaying a little bit so that I can try and get more spores. Death field is gone, but it's all good. Um, I figured we'll get back up. You know, I locked in a few so that he could, you know, keep degenning. There we go, another indestructible. And now he's unblockable. And I'm like, what in the world? What happened? What's going on? What, 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 how am I getting hit? I'm like, oh, he's got a regen. That's why. I didn't know that he had just popped that regen on me like that. And so I just started getting pounded. So now I'm worried. I'm like, okay. And I'm watching. Here we go. He's unblockable again. I evaded that one that time. And I'm like, okay, wait. We got to wait out that uh, regen there. Okay, you see all that indestructible, that's fine. Parry, got rid of it, and now we're going in again. And I'm like, okay, okay, we're, uh, you know, we got this. You know, we recovered, that was a, a surprise, but we should do uh, fine here, right? All right, so, yep, there he goes with his heavies, and I'm just trying to bait out that one, okay? And then I go in, and then I'm like, oh, whoa! So. The first time, I thought, okay, I thought I had it. I said, he's getting a regen after he fires off his special one. So when I pushed him to that special two, I said, all right, I should be good. And I didn't notice the regen until after I had started to attack. And then I backed off because I was startled. I was surprised. I said, whoa, he got a regen again. He's going to be unblockable. Okay, you see how I'm waiting back here? Now, I could have gone in and, and attacked him and all that good stuff, but I was a little off my game. I'm like, okay, now I'm not quite sure when he goes on, uh, you know, regen. Looks like it's after every special. I don't know enough about Man-Thing, okay? So 
this was a learning experience, like I said. So now I'm like, okay, after specials, he's gonna get a regen. That's how I was thinking. That's how I played the rest of this fight. You know, I'm just basically staying away from him while he has it. Uh, you can also intercept, but I decided to play it safe on this fight. Okay. And I hate that special one. So difficult to uh, get the timing. All right. And see, here we go. Now we got to parry. Get rid of that. And then we go in. Boom. Fire up that special two. And he's out. So that was a sloppy fight, a learning experience, but we managed to get him down and not die. And we came out with a pretty decent health. Um, not as good as we could have if we had known ahead of time, but now at least I know. So if I have to fight Man-Thing on that note again, I'm a little bit better prepared. Now you see here, I thought that, okay, I fought that man thing. I'm good. I was asked to fight this Nick Fury. I'm like, okay. Nick Fury with stubborn, stunning reflection, which I positively hate because it's out of the way that I normally play. And Omega Red is the best counter for this fight, which I just used. So now I have to use more items to get Omega Red back into fighting shape. Because when I stopped after Man Thing, remember what I said earlier, I'm a soldier, so I wasn't gonna just go keep going and fight this Nick Fury because he was on a node that I was not sure about uh, how to fight on that node. I don't like it. I tend to parry by reflex and then I get punished. So I don't have a stun immune. But what you're gonna see is my first attempt at fighting a particular style against Nick Fury on this node. And uh, it is the way that you want to fight Nick Fury on this node when you have an Omega Red. Okay, so I actually learned uh, in this fight as well. You know, it was funny, I hadn't seen any videos. Um, um, I may have seen one video of someone doing this, but this is the first time I'm trying it. All right, so you see how I'm interrupting his heavy? That is key, okay? Just keep interrupting his heavy. Now, I didn't do it there, all right? But you'll see here, just every time, so you don't get backed into the corner and you're getting those spores on him a lot. Now, if I had an Awakened Omega Red, then uh, this fight would have gone even better. But just watch how I've done this, okay? It's actually pretty easy with Omega Red. All right, you see how I was doing that? Now he's almost to a special uh, three, but we baited out the special two. All right, even though we don't want to um, parry him uh, to get rid of the, uh, you know, indestructible, uh, we still do okay. All right, we want to get those spores on him as much as possible. Uh, and I believe it, it'll go away as long as you're getting hit, if you block some hits as well. Now, I messed up the timing right there, okay? Now, I'm holding my special three, all right? I wanted to hold the special three, and you see here, I'm still doing that uh, heavy style, and I said, you know what? Let me just go ahead and uh, see what I can do here, maybe get uh, some health back. I don't remember how many spores I had on him, but I fired the special three off so that I can get a little bit more health, okay? You can see I'm regening a little bit. Didn't have a lot of spores on him. All right, and you can see here, that style works. If you can maintain this style, it works, okay? You just keep those spores on him. Now at this point, you wanna bait out that special two, just like we did last time. Okay, you got the indestructible, um, but it's okay. Uh, we just wanna get that special two off, there we go. Boom, we don't go in because he's indestructible. Um, well, he's not indestructible because we took, it, uh, we took that blocked hit, okay? And then, you know, we've got half our health still. And then we do it again. And the real Nick Fury is out. Now, what I needed to do at this point was to just stay away from him. Really. Okay. Um, but he was getting really aggressive and I was getting too close to the uh, corner there. And I'm like, okay, I need to, you know, get him away from me and see here. And then I got myself caught in the corner. 
And I'm like, okay, uh-uh, we're not doing this. Even though he was indestructible, I had to get out of that corner. All right? So, like I said, uh, I played this last part wrong, but I'm like, okay, I should be able to get this. We got him to a special two. And instead of evading, it stood there. So I said, wow, all right. Um, but that works. I could have actually done this if I had played better, if I hadn't gotten trapped in the corner, if I had made better decisions. But this was my first time trying this method against Nick Fury, and it worked beautifully. Okay, so hopefully that'll help someone out if they are going up against a Nick Fury on this node and they have an Omega Red, that's what you want to do. Now, of course, I was not letting Nick Fury live to tell the tale of what he just did to me. All right, so you see, I'm going in here with a vengeance. You know, we don't care. The real Nick Fury is out and boom, down goes Nick Fury. All right, so we'll be back and we'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. If you saw the last war video, you know that we lost that war as well. So we're actually on a little bit of a losing streak right now. Uh, you can see that we did not get all three of our bosses down. That's something that we uh, try to emphasize, that no matter what happens, we uh, more than likely, just looking at the points, we probably would not have won this war, uh, even if we had gotten all three bosses down. But getting all three bosses down helps our overall season points and puts us in a much better position even if we have lost uh changes have been made already and uh hopefully we can turn things around so that's gonna do it guys thank you all for watching click like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day